Good morning ladies and gentlemen, we are just leaving Hope BC now, we just finished doing our pre-trip and fueled up. Now because it's two hours difference from Manitoba time, it's still dark out here. I bet you in Manitoba the sun is already up. Yeah. Right. And up here it's completely dark. Alright, nobody coming, so that's good. But yeah, now we're gonna make our way towards Edmonton. In 600 meters, take the entrance Still to the Still drizzling a little one, bit. Highway 3, Highway 5, Trans Canada Highway. That's alright. We'll try and make our way uh, down to Edmonton, that's for sure. It feels hot in here. <laughs> I'm working there, fueling up and all that, running around. Almost feels hot in here. But yeah, we got about a thousand and seven kilometers according to the GPS right now. So we're going to have a, so a busy day today, Take the especially up to the here in the mountains. Highway 1, Highway 3, Highway 5, Trans Canada Highway. Although we won't be going up there by Golden where them really, really big mountains are, so we should be alright for mountains in that way. I mean, there is still some fairly big mountains up here where we're going this time, but... I know I've taken you guys along this road before, but... Anyways, let's get on down the road and let's show you some more stuff on the daylight. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, now we are on that stretch where I showed you the other day where we were going downhill like crazy for a long time. And where I was talking about when we get down to the bottom of this big hill, we're going to be in Merritt, BC, right? Well, I just went through Merritt there a few minutes ago. So now we have to climb this big hill, this long hill, all the way to the top and over. Yeah, so we're going to have to do some shifting gears up here. Well, like I explained to you the other day, there's always a bit of a flat spot and it starts going up again. The same thing with coming down, right? So I was back up to speed there, back, uh, back there a little bit ago already and uh, now we're starting to shift down again. I know on the camera it doesn't really usually look that steep, but when you really drive it in real life, you can actually tell that now it's starting to drizzle again. Oh boy. As long as that doesn't turn into snow, we're good to go, or ice, you know. <clears throat> but maybe now you will be able to see it a little bit. Way up there ahead, you can maybe see a couple of vehicles coming down. But yeah, we're just, it's a constant climb for a good while, that's for sure. So here it starts leveling out again a little bit, and then over there it starts climbing, climbing again, you know. But yeah, it's, uh, we're not even close to being over the top yet, that's for sure. But hey, miss, I figured I would show you a little bit of this stretch here. And Talk about it a little bit, give you guys give you guys a little bit of a clip on what it looks like out here. Alrighty guys, here we go. Just about well, I would say 20 minutes before Cam Loops. And uh, it's just an absolutely beautiful view from way up here in the mountain. And we are going downhill right now. We got two brake shakes here just before Kamloops. 
They're only about 15, 10 or 15 minutes apart. And so we're going to be going downhill for a good while here. That's, <laughs> that's for sure. So we are in the lower gear. We got our four-way flashers on for safety reason. So that way people know that we're going a little bit slower. Although sometimes the camera is a little bit deceiving. When you look at the camera, sometimes it looks like you're going faster than what I'm actually going, you know? Yeah, my ears are popping again. I don't know why it has been like that lately, but... Anyways, it's just starting to get some sunshine up here. And we're a little faster speed now, so I guess we'll cut the four-way flashers out, but... Yeah, it, uh, it was starting to snow there a little bit ago there, just on the top there of the hill there by Merritt. After I cut the clip there a little bit later, it was starting to snow a little bit, but uh, now the sun is starting to show through again, and man, it's just a beautiful, beautiful view from up here. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, big mountains there in the background. Those look huge. Oh yeah. Usually the camera is very deceiving on making it look like real, but uh, or, or the way it actually is, you know. But uh, anyways, we are going downhill. And the funny part is we go downhill here for a little bit, and then uh, I don't think we're going up too much. And then uh, we come just before Cam Loops. Like that's actually already considered Cam Loops. And there is a scale and at the same time a brake shack up there. They're usually open too there at that scale. But anyways, looks like this one truck, he wants to pass me, he wants to go faster. Yeah, it seems like it's not fast enough for him, but... Anyways, we'll continue on cruising here and we'll see you guys all a little bit later. Well, here we are guys. We are here at Kamloops, BC, and this is where the brake check was, just before here, and this is right after that, basically in the same lot, that's where we have the uh, DOT scale, so let's go over the DOT scale and see what they got to say to us today. Yeah, that's right. Let's check it out. He's not even sitting there looking at the numbers. That's okay for me. I don't really care. If he's busy there with other drivers, then let him be busy with other drivers, right? The last thing we want is for him to pull us around to the back, and he didn't, so that's good. That's what we like to see. we go so now we're gonna be descending into cam loops yeah that's right got a long way to go down wow guys look at all the steam coming out yeah it's that's at the bottom of the hill and we are on the top right so that's how steamy it gets sometimes out here different weather conditions from the top to the bottom you know Wow, that's just amazing. When you uh, come down on the top, you overlook all this fog up here, and then you go down and you're in the fog. <laughs> yeah. We got about six kilometers to go, and then we'll be turning on to, uh, I guess, Highway 5, they call it. That's what the GPS is showing me. Going to Jasper, yes. That's right. Yep, we are definitely in cam loops right now. That's for sure. But at least the sun is starting to come through or has been shining now for a little while, so that's good. That way we can look forward to having a good road conditions today. Yeah. If we weren't going to Edmonton, we would go straight forward 
instead of taking this exit up here and I would be going through Golden and all that where uh, you saw me go through there a couple of days ago. Big monks, that's for sure. Look at them people all live down way down there at the bottom of this hill, eh? Yeah. That's always quite interesting. Uh, I guess I gotta move into this lane up here, otherwise I'm taking an exit ramp. Yeah, I don't want to take this exit yet. I gotta go a little bit further yet, you know? But anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here and see what kind of goodies we'll be able to show you today. Alrighty guys and gals, here we are in the same area that we were in a couple of months ago. I like to say a couple of months ago, maybe a month and a half, two months ago. I guess you could say that's a couple of months ago. And we are going down the same hill as what we were going down at that time when we were on our way to Edmonton. And for those of you that have been following me for a good while, you will probably remember it was snowing like crazy when I went to this exact same area. And I was talking about uh, going down this hill and all that. Yeah. This is uh, the same highway, Highway 5, Yellowhead Highway. We got chain off area over here. There's a... Uh, had a chain up area over there on the other side of the hill and this is at the bottom of the hill I suppose or at least at the steepest part we're done with now and I guess so you can take your tire chains off and I remember if, if memory serves me right up, up around this area that's where we saw a flat deck that had disconnected from his trailer and was putting on some tire chains because he uh, he was empty and I guess he was starting to spin out so he put some tire chains on. But yeah, figured I would show you this area again and see what kind of difference it is now from now till what we had a couple of months ago. The snow is melting like crazy, a lot of areas you don't even see too much snow anymore. Right here we still have a lot of snow and I guess that's because uh, they've been getting hammered with snow up here from the looks of it. We got a ton of snow up here that's for sure but you can see it's all brown and stuff like that already so it's it's pretty much at the melting stage right now well I mean it is above zero so it probably is melting anyways as we speak and that's right it's been kind of foggy on and off here all morning now since we left Kamloops there you guys saw how foggy it was there in Kamloops and it's been like that ever since until here a little while ago this fog finally disappeared but now the sun is starting to peek through again but just been foggy and foggy so i had to be really careful they're driving in that fog but other than that the roads are good it's not slippery at all it's not snowing so that's good absolutely beautiful out here nothing we can't handle i like to say yeah Anyways, let's continue on cruising along here. Alrighty guys, this is where the Highway 16 splits apart a little bit. Yeah, that's right. And just after this split is where we have the DOT scale. If you guys remember a while back ago when I come through here, this is exactly where I was pulled into the scale while the scale was open, right? And this is where they were giving me a hard time about uh, my license plate being dirty. Yeah, almost looks like they're open again today. Seems like they're open on the weekend more, you know. That's what it almost seems like, but... Yeah, they seem to be open. That's what it looks like to me. So let's go see in, uh, if they were going to give me a hard time about my license plate today. I did make sure I cleaned it up there in Richmond when I left, so uh, should be clean enough. So let's see if they want to talk to me today. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Well, it looks like they got one truck in there. Yeah, they're out there again, just like they are every time. 
so let's see what they got to say looks like they're checking that uh, oversized truck or whatever to see if they're uh, got everything secured yeah let's go see let's go see what they want and this is exactly where I was having a hard time I was almost spinning out just right here oh she's giving me the Given me a finger I can continue on well, that's fantastic I guess she just wants to inspect that guy right now she's busy with him yeah so that's good we got the bypass today <laughs> if you can call it a bad bypass <laughs> yeah oh well that's good for us right just means we can continue on cruising along yeah As you can see probably right here beside me we got a little bit of a river going on I'm just trying to see what's down there it almost looked like there was something there in the water but maybe it was just ice maybe just ice but yeah now we got 460 kilometers to go still up to uh, Edmonton so we got a few hours to roll yet but we have been rolling for a good while but anyways figured I would show you this skill again this is where they pulled me in and I had to climb out and clean my license plate because I had hit a lot of snow up there as you would have seen the ones that have uh, been with me for a while and uh, they wanted me to clean my license plate they said we want to be able to read your license plate and I guess they type it into their computer and so that way they know who uh, crossed their scale yeah but I don't think they did that today because uh, I don't think they could have seen my license plate from in there because the guy was blocking the view because he was on the scale right but anyways let's put the hammer down and let's get to Edmonton soon as we can right alrighty ladies and gentlemen we are now in Alberta that's right we just stopped up here a few minutes ago finally for the first time well not really for the first time but uh, we actually took a little bit of time out there and went and grabbed us a six inch subway sandwich and a bottle of water yeah been driving for a good long while already and I figured, well, it's time to go have me a bite to eat. I did, however, stop earlier. I had a few brake shakes there before we uh, got up to here, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, we did. We did good on miles today already. But uh, we still have about three hours to go yet up to our terminal in uh, Edmonton. So we got a few to go yet. Luckily the sun is still up there, so we don't have to worry about the sun going down here in a few minutes. Uh, it should be uh, daylight here for at least a couple of hours more, so I think it should be daylight close to about the time when we get into Edmonton. Edmonton. Yeah, that's right. But we are now officially pretty much out of the big Rocky Mountains. Yep. Uh, obviously got a little bit hilly up here, but nothing compared to up there in the Rocky Mountains, right? But uh, anyways, uh, we'll see if we'll continue on from Edmonton uh, after we do our trailer switch up there today yet or not. We'll see how I, how I feel and what kind of truck stops we will uh, encounter before we get to Red Deer. I know there's not much in Red Deer itself, so I don't know. I just have to keep my fingers crossed and see what we'll do. I haven't quite made the decision yet on uh, if we're actually going to go all the way to Red Deer yet. But we'll see. We'll see, I guess. Alrighty, guys and gals. We are done for today. 
We're here at a uh, Fly and J in Red Deer, Alberta. And there's actually a few spots right beside me here. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, yeah, we're done for today. We managed to uh, go to Edmonton and do this trailer switch, and now we're here in uh, Red Deer. So we are completely out of hours. We managed to get exactly 13 hours up to here. Yeah. So we decided we're going to do our trailer switch up here tomorrow. And then continue on from there. But uh, yeah, we got here at 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. So uh, that means at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning we can get out of here. And we're not too far away from our uh, customer, so uh, yeah, so that's a good part. But anyways, I am tired. I've had a long day. I think I'm just going to throw these video files into my computer and go to bed maybe. <laughs> I don't know, I don't really feel like putting it together today. So maybe we'll just do it tomorrow or when we get home, we'll have a reset at home, you know. So then we'll maybe do it at home. Because I'm a few days ahead of this right now. I'm all caught up anyways. I even did yesterday's already, so. If I don't do a few here in the next couple of days, I can do that at home too, right? So. But anyways, we'll go to bed. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's vlog. With that being said, Hit that like button. You know how the drill goes. Share the video if you liked it. Somebody else possibly would like it too. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to our channel. Would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button. And with that being said, have a good one. We'll catch you on the next one, which is tomorrow morning. Remember, we are seven days behind. So bye. behind me that day is gonna come